What is up everybody? Okay, so if you're like me, during the summertime you headed out to the beach and you gotta buy ice, it just infuriates me. So in this video, we're gonna talk about hacks for coolers. My top three things that you can do with your lucky cooler here to make the ice last longer. So if you're like me, I ain't paying for that stuff. So here we go. I got a Jack! Oh, oh, Jack's got one on the tree truck. All right, guys, so I got the green egg heating up over here. It's almost summer. I guess you could call it summer here, so that means grilling time. I got my cooler right here, and we're going to talk about this thing. See, Samantha says I got to get rid of this cooler, and I ain't doing it. I just don't want to do it. I don't want to sell out and have to use a Yeti because this one was $16 and I got it six years ago. It's been holding up ever since. It's sturdy. It just doesn't hold ice like a Yeti as long. Nobody steal it. I mean, it's got it's got my, my patches on it and everything here. But the, the thing is that on a hot summer day, ice just doesn't hold very long in it. But if you're wanting to take a $16 cooler like this one and make it last longer, the first thing you gotta do is when you get to the beach, or if you can do this in general, either cover it or bury it. For here on the Gulf Coast, if you can take your cooler, dig a hole, put it in the hole, I mean up to the lid, that sand is gonna insulate this thing pretty doggone good. I mean, this thing is gonna stay cold most of the day. And if you wanna go a step further, take a towel or a car visor or something reflective, anything that'll just distract the heat and give it shade, put it on top of it and it'll last even longer. If you can't do that, as in burying it, just lay the towel over the top of it and this cooler will do a lot better. Direct sunlight just does not go good with these coolers. Check it out, got some tails there. If you're ever on Pensacola Beach and you need ice, twice the ice right there, $1.50. Don't try to go to the store and get it. You can get a huge bag for $1.50. I love these things. Numero two, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take PVC pipe. See, yesterday I went down to Lowe's, I got some PVC pipe. I'm using an inch and a quarter. I got the end caps to go with it. And what you want to do is you want to measure them to where they'll fit both in your cooler and they're not too long for your freezer because they don't fit in the freezer, they won't freeze. If you know what I mean, they gotta fit in the freezer. So I'm going through this process right now because what I've been using was frozen water bottles, both two liters and in the Gatorade bottles, and they've lasted for a long time. Even when I'm offshore and I have a game catch cooler on the front of my kayak, I don't know if you've seen that on some of the videos, that actually just has like two or three two liter frozen water bottles and it usually keeps them cold for about the morning or the afternoon, good enough. They do add a lot of weight to your kayak, so FYI on that, but that's why I'm making some of these. But they're gonna pretty much just stay in my cooler, or Samantha's gonna steal them and put them in the Yeti. See, I don't use a Yeti, Samantha won't let me use the Yeti. Samantha says I'm not allowed to put fish in the Yeti, so I have to use my own coolers. So, you know, that's why maybe I'm anti-Yeti. I don't know, I'm rambling here, but I have hard feelings against the Yeti. I think what it is, my feelings are just hurt. They're just hurt over these things and I'm just sticking to my guns here. Okay guys, so I'm gonna cut these things off about 12 inches long. Probably gonna do some 12 and I'm probably gonna do a couple, a few shorter, just because I wanna be able to fit it in maybe my lunchbox or something like that. I'm gonna fill these things with water, put a little salt in it because the freezing point will drop a little bit. So if you're wondering, Samantha's had me hard at work doing other odds and ends and I figured I'd just throw in a video while I'm doing it. I got my skill saw out so I can do these. There's a jet flying over America. See that's, see, that's one cool thing about living next to the Naval Air Station is even though they're really loud and obnoxious, it just sounds like freedom, like over and over again. And the whole thing about fast jets, hey, I wish I was Top Gun. That was a cool movie. Presto change -o, baby. All right, so we got that down, Pat. We got them cut. Next, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these bad boys right here, put the ends on them, both sides, because I got a whole thing of this here. 
and uh, I'm just gonna put them on both sides. I'm gonna take some PVC pipe glue or weld or whatever you call it. Seal these up just like if uh, I was gonna do a, a, a pipe at home and, and fill it up with water. Some salt in it, put it in the freezer, and presto change -o. Be right back, gotta check the grill. Number three, the last one I wanna talk about, I don't know why the sun's blowing me out here, but I'll get you, I'll let you get you in focus here. The next one is, I'm gonna take this, this cooler right here, and I'm going to drill holes in it, and I'm gonna take this here foam, right? I just got some gaps and crack sealant from, from Lowe's. And I'm gonna fill the crevices of this here with this here, okay? I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna basically take a Sharpie and I'm going to put a, like a hole here and here and here with a drill and I'm gonna fill it up. Because why? Because this thing's just not insulated very well. Once they're insulated well, they'll do a lot better. And I think I might even go a step further and put two holes here on the bottom and just fill her up. Fill her all the way up. And my cooler is gonna be a lot better. See, these lids are not uh, insulated very well. And that's where you're losing most of your ice, okay? We ain't the ice king around here, or the night king, or whatever it is on Game of Thrones, but this is where all your, your coolness goes. You gotta solve that. Alright guys, so you want to use some gloves for this because this stuff is nasty. You get on your skin, you ain't getting it off. I learned that working on the house. This thing holds a lot more than you think it does. This thing's pretty hollow. Also, wear two gloves, not one, because I, I don't know why I did that. Now I got it on my hands. Alright everybody, that's my top three hacks for the summer for a cooler. Keep it covered. Bear it if you can. Fill up the voids with the foam, because it's not really expensive. And the rest is just create you some water bottles or something to hold water, freeze it, and it'll keep you from having to go buy ice all the time. I mean, two bucks, 280 at the gas station, dollar fifty, you're lucky to have a one of those twice the ice machines down, down the road like here. But it'll add up. And if you like to keep your stuff cold, especially if you want to take a few brewskis with you. You need something like that, or you lunch in the afternoon. Maybe she'll rock a few more years before Samantha throws it out when I'm not looking. But I'm gonna let her uh, let her run until somebody steals it or it dies. But I got a feeling this handle's gonna die soon. So that's all I got, guys. See you guys tomorrow. I gotta go check on the grill. Smell it burning. Samantha snuck in in between shots here to put the chicken on the green egg over here. Check it out. This thing's awesome. See you later.